Before we get into this music, I wanted to tell you guys a story that, that I went through when I was younger about like living in an area that's not a good area. The reason why I wanted to tell you guys about this story is because of everything that's going on in this world right now and it just, it doesn't really, really make sense to me so I just, I felt like explaining this story would, would like do something. I don't know why, but I'm just gonna let you guys know the story. I'm pretty sure I was nine. I I lived in a neighborhood that wasn't really good, you know, like the environment that was I was in was pretty bad, like a poor environment and I was walking down the street one day with, with um, my grandpa and my brother and I seen a I seen two cars hauling ass down the street, like jumping speed bumps and shit, like all the way to like where me and my grandpa Upon my brother was standing and there was this park like right by my house and um, the cars like pulled up to the park and shit and a white guy hopped out the car and fucking he cocked back a pistol and ran up to the to the other guy's car and it was a black guy in the car and I'm, I'm guessing he stole some shit from the guy or something and pretty much my my main thing with this story is it doesn't really matter what color you are like there's there's white boys in the hood that are crazy as fuck there's spanish people they're crazy there's like pretty much every type of person is crazy so like the way they're treating all these black people is really messed up because it's not just them there's a ton of fucking white people out there that are crazy and a ton of fucking spanish people that are crazy so i just wanted to let you guys like hear this story because like you guys are just like I mean, not you guys, but like, they're out here, well, racist people, they're out here just like fucking pretty much treating people bad because of a color. Like, that shit is just beyond stupid, I think. Like, you can look at a brown egg and a white egg and crack both of them. What's inside them? The same shit. It's, there's no difference, bro. Like, these people are just like out of their fucking minds. Pretty much all I'm saying is this is a environment thing. This is like something that people get pulled into. Like, when you're surrounded by a bunch of people that are selling drugs, you're gonna start selling drugs pretty much. Like, it doesn't happen with everybody, but a good portion of people, like, they definitely fall into this is like why would why would you work a job that pays you two hundred dollars a week when you can fucking make be making two hundred dollars a day and shit like it's crazy the way they, they it's like they have this whole world in a fucking setup like this is a fucking trap like they they really got the people in the poor environments like as a target to hit like real deal like they don't even go and, and hit, like chill in fucking white neighborhoods or nothing like that. And it's crazy. Like you put a you put anybody in a white neighborhood and grow up around white kids where it's like there's no no people doing drugs or anything like that, selling drugs or robbing anybody and he will grow up to be a wonderful kid. That's just like simple facts right there. That's like what I'm trying to explain. It's not it's not that these people are bad, it's just the places that they're growing up in is what's fucking their heads up and their whole fucking mentality's fucked for the, their whole life because of this fucking place that they grew up in. And and we're we're over here being treated like like we're wrong, but like you put anybody here in the fucking hood and they're gonna fucking do some wrong shit. Like it's just that's factuals right there. Like it's just crazy to see how people like they really they really out here racist as hell over a color like that shit is just like it's beyond it's just really crazy how these people are because like if you really think about it like just like certain things with people is just like like if you touch a a person from the hood like this push his head back 
he's gonna swing on you. You do that to a person that was raised in a, a great neighborhood, he's gonna be like, yo, what'd you do that for? He's gonna ask you a bunch of questions before he even gets mad at you. And that's just like plain facts right there. Like, there's just a big difference between these, these two different people growing up in two different areas. And that's just like all I'm trying to get to. You. That's all I'm trying to get through to you guys because this shit is just crazy. Like, these people are really out here trying to say that people are so bad. It's like, bro, if, if we're so bad, just like, why don't you just fucking like change the fucking way that you got all these people living, you know? Because it's not, it's not the fucking that people, it's not that people are bad, it's, it's these fucking environments, it's these neighborhoods, these fucking, the way everything just is over here is just way different, like, you know, it's just, it's how people are grown up to, to, to be raised, like, if somebody, like, bro, I'm, I'm sure that there's people, like, in white neighborhoods that if they say, like, if you get hit, like, by somebody, call the cops or call somebody or this and that. When when you're raised in the hood, you get hit by somebody, it swing right back. You don't you don't fucking sit there like like a little hoe, you know? Like I'm just being honest. Like it's just I'm just trying to get my point through to you guys so you guys can like really understand like what I'm trying to say. And it's just like shit like that is just it's it's crazy. For this video I got a a song that I made before all this like crazy shit started happening in this world and then the two other songs are songs that I made while this all this is like going on and stuff and I, I made these songs to like help help anybody out that's like you know going through some things because I know that like a lot of shit's like rough right now for a lot of people and I have a heart so I made you guys something for anybody that like really fucks with my music and stuff. I didn't finish one of the songs that I made. I just, I wrote like the first verse to it and the second verse I didn't really get to, but I'm still, I'm still gonna put it in, in the, the video because it was like something that I really like. And it kind of like is a song already, but I think I might go in on another verse on it but it's, it's like something I really like, I like for some reason. It kind of like reminds me of X and like the way he fucking, he rap and shit for some reason. It just gave me like some type of feeling. You know what I'm saying? That shit made me feel some type of way. <laughs> Yo, I got so motherfucking drunk yesterday that I think that I might just start drinking like for good. You know what I'm saying?
You my brother, you my friend. Fuck the color of your skin. Fuck the color of your skin. Fuck the color of your skin. You my brother, you my friend. Fuck the color of your skin. Fuck the color of your skin. Fuck the color of your skin. Black or white or Asian. Fuck you, my friend. Can't forget the Mexicans. Worth more than milli bands. We all just doing what we can. That's part of they plan. You know Uncle Sam. He's a part of they clan. But that's coming to an end. Might pull up in a new bands. They all a part of this sand. Fuck it with the demons. I really hope you understand. This a world awake, man. It's about demons. Trying to take what they can. But it ain't really working. The devil pussy twerking. The cause of all of this sin. The devil lied, not legit. Tell that pussy boy quit before he gets relit. I send his ass to the pit. Smoke his ass like I said. You my brother, you my friend. Fuck the color of your skin. Fuck the color of your skin. Fuck the color of your skin. You my brother, you my friend. Fuck the color of your skin. Fuck the color of your skin. Fuck the color of your skin. What up, blood? Yo, I see you, blood, blood.